Yogurts are supposed to be healthy for you, but not all yogurts are made the same. And most yogurts you can find in the stores are probably highly processed and not what you think you might be feeding yourself or your child. So today let's talk about a few things that I myself choose to avoid when I buy yogurts. First, you want to avoid anything that says sugar-free or fat-free. Most of the time when it's marketed as sugar-free, it's usually replaced with artificial sweeteners like dextrose, aspartame, and basically fake sugars your body does not recognize. If you would like more about this, I think I have a video called Eczema Foods to Avoid Too. I'll link it up here in case you're interested to learn more about it. When it says fat-free, basically fat-free means your yogurt is further processed. More things has been done to remove the fat from the milk. So when it's fat-free, it's also not good. You actually need fats for your brain and for your muscles, and fat is important. Of course, if you are keen to have no sugar in your yogurt, that is a good choice too, but look in the ingredients list that there are no sugars in there. Previously, I've mentioned that sugar is bad for eczema and bad because it causes inflammation. Recently, I've read a bit of new information and I'm not too sure, but it's always a good thing to avoid added sugar and just focus on fruit sugar and things like that. Okay. Uh, let me give you some yogurt. Okay. Okay. Instead of cutting in half, I just bite in half faster. The next thing, this is one of the most terrible things. I don't know why they add it in food. It's food coloring. Artificial coloring and flavoring is what you want to avoid. And also... Okay, so let's continue. Let's try to finish this quickly, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what you want to avoid. Like, coloring and flavoring, artificial, even natural flavoring, it's a very loose term. Natural flavoring is still bad for you if you are interested. The same video I said just now, I'll link it. I can't link it here again, but you go back and you see it about artificial sweeteners and natural flavoring. It's something you want to avoid as well. Yes, also always choose yogurts that are made of... Mm, yum, I'm eating your yogurt. Always choose yogurts that are made from organic dairy. Maybe in Switzerland it's a bit better, but if you're in the US, I believe the cows live in very, very unfavor unfavorable um, conditions like they are fed GMO corn also in Switzerland if it's not organic you are fed corn and grains that are highly sprayed with pesticides like glyphosate which is really bad for you and also oh, I can't think when she's fussing I read information that um, cows in the US or I don't know where else are even fed chicken poop so when they get sick often and also when they pump a lot in confined spaces, they have pus coming out of the milk and they have to add, they have to put antibiotics to not make us sick. Darling girl, how can I help you? Can I just finish? Maybe I have a few more points here. Yeah, so basically always read the ingredients. Can I let you down? I'll just let her play here. Oh, that's a bit tough. <laughs> anyway. What did I miss? Okay, so yogurt. Yogurt is only yogurt if it has good bacteria, which are live cultures. So if you are getting a yogurt and then you read that it's pasteurized and homogenized even, then it's basically just 
processed milk fats, you know? So yogurt is supposed to be a fermented food that has lots of probiotics that feed your probiotic, which is the good bacteria in your gut, to help you have a healthy gut, healthy skin, and everything. So when you choose a yogurt, make sure that it says it has live cultures and that it isn't pasteurized and homogenized because when it is pasteurized and homogenized, that means um, they use heat to kill off bacteria. Basically, you have live cultures and then it's killed when it's pasteurized. So make sure they have live cultures. Like, how should you choose a good yogurt? A good yogurt, okay, so if you are sensitive to dairy or if you think you don't feel as good having dairy, then coconut yogurt is very good. But coconut yogurt made from coconut milk is different from coconut flavored yogurt. Sometimes they sell coconut yogurt, but it's just flavored. So look for coconut milk as the main ingredient, like this one I really like, it's Al Natura, it's from Migro. It's 95% um, coconut milk and it has, oh my gosh, I forgot I put her down, she's like at my camera, please don't topple it, please darling girl. And also, oh, one more thing you want to avoid when buying yogurt is thickeners and emulsifiers, thickeners like xanthan gum and guar gum, they're not great for your gut. But this one has a little bit of tapioca starch. So basically this is it. It has coconut milk, tapioca starch, and stabilizer, which is Johannes Brot Cairn milk, and sea salt, and life coaches. That's what you want in a yogurt. If this video helps, please let me know because, you know, it encourages me to go through this to make more videos that might help you, which I hope helps you. Yes, darling, this is your yogurt and my yogurt, and it's really good. But that's aluminium foil. Bye, guys. I hope you stay well, be well. Let's be smart consumers and demand that companies produce good ingredients for our convenience. That rhymes. Bye. I did a homemade probiotic fizzy drink. It's so good. It's so sparkly and refreshing. I hope to share this soon. You can make it at home because so many of you always say, oh, probiotics can be too expensive, not very affordable. But this one, basically life cultures that keeps giving, but it takes a little bit of effort on your side and on my side to keep having it. It's Really good stuff. I've been having it for the past three months. Great in the summer. I'm sorry that the cold is coming, but if you're in Australia, I'm not sorry. But I'm sorry for those of you who live in cold areas. Winter is coming. Maybe you don't crave as much cold drinks, but maybe a recipe for next year. And she's eating aluminium while I'm talking about how to choose better yogurt here. Well, sometimes you gotta let your kid play with aluminium when you need a break. Today, I would like to talk about yogurts. Most yogurts are supposed to be healthy for you, but most yogurts in the supermarket that you can find are probably filled with ingredients that are not favorable. So today I'm gonna share with you what I look out for when I choose for a good yogurt. She wants milk. I'll be right back. 